Now, it's all about a sport that combines skating and blocking, which is a nice way of saying somebody's hammering you. It's played on a track. It's just for girls. I'm talking about roller derby. It's growing in popularity in Edmonton. We now have two women's leagues. Our city's newest roller derby league is called the Eville Junior Roller Derby, and it's for girls aged 12 to 17. As the CBC's Isabel Gallant found out, it is attracting all types of teens. It's a Tuesday night at Sports World in North Edmonton. The chatter of 25 teenage girls fills the air as they lace up roller skates and pull on helmets and knee pads. They skate out onto the track, a concrete rink with a group of chairs in the middle. Some are confident, but other girls step in slow, jerking motions, afraid to fall. It's the Evil Junior Roller Derby's second practice of the new season. 16-year-old Quinlan Hawkswell looks comfortable out on the track. She joined the Junior League last fall after going to a few of the Evil women's games. Her first practice was intimidating. I'd never roller skated before, and I was like really shaky, and I was like, oh, this is so embarrassing because some of the women were there. I really wanted to show them that I could do it, and my idol, like from my first game, Mary F. and Sunshine was there. I was like, I don't want to look like a loser. By the end of the practice, Quinlan, whose derby name is Bloody Cooper, was already feeling better about her skating skills. Now, she can't get enough of roller derby. It brings out different things about you. Like at school, I probably wouldn't do this kind of stuff or like be as outgoing. But when you go here, like you just feel really comfortable. So as you go in, it's wide stance and speaker. Okay? So I want you to line up along the back. I'm going to number you guys off one and two. We're going to try it. In a game of roller derby, two teams skate around the track together. A player called a jammer scores points by passing players from the opposite team. At tonight's practice, the girls start with stretches and sprints. Now they're about to do an obstacle course. Okay, so let's line up. I don't have to. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Let's line up now. Okay, listen, you girls, sticky skates is when you leave your skates on the ground. You're not leaving your skates up. The coaches for the junior girls are all from Evil's Women's League. I'm Trailer Trish from Evil Roller Derby. Trailer Trish, or Trisha Baker, started playing derby for Evil four years ago. Now she's the junior league's training coordinator. She says there are lots of reasons why derby is a great sport for younger girls. It's good camaraderie. They learn to, you know, get along with each other. They also really learn how to skate and they learn how to play the game and compete. And it's fun. It's sort of empowering and it's... Uh, not everything that other girls do, so it's a little different. Some girls that play for us are a little bit um, edgy, so this sort of fits in with, you know, their lifestyle. Looking around the track, it's clear that roller derby attracts all types. Some girls wear makeup and short shorts. Others have blue hair and baggy pajama pants. It's another reason why Quinlan likes roller derby so much. It's a whole bunch of different girls. There's, like, girly girls and there's jocks and, you know, like... We're all really different, but we all fit together. And I just like that there's like a lot of women on the women's team, and they're like good role models to look up to. Quinlan's mom agrees. Laurel Hawkswell comes to all her daughter's practices, along with a handful of other parents. Tonight, she's selling tickets for a league fundraiser. She describes Quinlan as shy and mild-mannered, but saw how roller derby instantly affected her. She's drawn to the camaraderie, and it, what I love about it is real girl power. Everybody's unique. Push them out. Sydney, push them out. Late in the practice, I got a taste of a real roller derby game. The girls circle the track, trying to push each other out of action. Parents who are nervous about roller derby being too violent for their daughters soon realize it's just like any sport. The girls all wear helmets, mouth guards, and pads on their knees, elbows, and wrists. In the movies, you see a lot of the elbows and the punching and the tripping and the different plays that they use, like clotheslines and stuff like that. We don't do that. That's sort of the, the derby of days gone by. Those things actually would get you kicked out of a game now. <laughs> so they have to hit an illegal hitting zone on a person. They have to hit the right way. They have to hit within bounds. And there's all sorts of rules and penalties. So it's actually a lot safer than a lot of people think it is. For now, the Junior League only plays one real bout each season. They sell tickets and their families and friends come to watch. It's a chance for them to show off their skills 
and get a feel for the spectacle of roller derby. It was just cool to play in front of people who'd never seen it before in your family. Like, my grandma was there, and she was just, like, astonished that, like, I was, like, knocking people over because usually I'm, like, the quiet, shy person. Quinlan doesn't seem shy to me. Clearly, roller derby is bringing out a new side of her. For CBC Radio, I'm Isabel Gallant in Edmonton.